Bro, what is happening? How did they're gonna get away? They're gonna walk away with a three. They just walked away with a three on that whole possession. You can't make this up. Going up the court, I knocked the ball loose. You would think, oh, Yuta's right there. He'd be able to grab it. Nope. Yuta forgets what universe he's in. Reggie Bullock grabs it. Yuta knocks it loose. Reggie Bullock grabs it. Yuta knocks it loose again. Then Reggie Bullock goes to grab it. He throws it towards me. You would think I'd be able to grab it there. No. The ball magically hits nothing. It hit nothing there. And then just goes towards Kelly Olynyk. Now I gotta try and score. That should be a bucket and a half on D'Anthony Melton. Instead of backing down his guy. Oh my god, he just gave me that on a golden platter. That's a dunk. On a golden platter, Cedric extends it to three. All right, we have a chance to push this to a two possession lead here. Two possession lead. We don't need a three, but I'll take one. I'll take one. Cedric, another one. 41 for Cedric Lewis. Extends the lead to six. Six is going to down, come down the court quick. Probably pull up a quick three. Wow. Oh, my God. He hit that. Game two of the Eastern Conference semis. The Hornets come in off a critical game one win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Philadelphia 76ers. Round two of the NBA playoffs continue. Coming right up. So the Miami Heat just extended their lead on the Bucks to two games to one with a 22-point victory. But we, we, we lost Victor Oladipo. My man's Victor Oladipo just got injured again. And it looked serious. It looked like an ACL or a ligament tear. It looked really, really bad. And Jimmy Butler got hurt. He bruised his tailbone or glute. I don't know what. But he will most likely play. The Heat are up 2-1 on the Bucks, And I think Giannis will come back for Game 4. But man, Jimmy getting hurt and Oladipo getting hurt is awful. Duncan Robinson is back though. Duncan Robinson dropped 20 points. So that's something. But man, it, it sucks. It sucks really bad. Bam on a bio has turned into Kwame Brown. Overrated as hell. Anyways, that's in the past. Game 5 for the Game 4 is on Monday. Heat, let's hope we can take a 3-1 lead. Let's hope Jimmy Butler is good. He had 30 points in, what, three and a half quarters? Two and a half quarters, I believe. So that's insane. Anyways, we are going to game two against the Sixers after a 1-0 uh, lead. We ended up winning by nine points. And what was a close game up until the fourth quarter and a DeAndre Ayton masterclass as he had 34-20 and 20, and absolutely just clamped up Joel Embiid. And here you can see my stats in 72K. If you did not watch that last episode, be sure to go watch it. I had a struggle of a game, shooting 10 for 28 from the field and 4 for 12 from 3. We got the win. I'm going to accept. And there you go. There are the stats put in. Game 2 is up next. Let's go ahead and take a possible commanding 2-0 series lead and remain the only undefeated team in the playoffs. Here we are, Game 2 of this Eastern Conference second round. Once again, the 45 and 37 Hornets and Sixers going head to head. The six and seven seed making it to the second round. David Aldridge, I don't care what you got to say, my friend. We are looking for a 2 0 series lead over the 76ers. Only a nine point victory in last game, and that was due to an amazing fourth quarter by DeAndre Ayton and the Charlotte Hornets. And we we need a big win here. Big, big win. We cannot let this series be tied. And I need to play a lot better defense on Tyrese Maxey along with better offense in this game. As Tyrese Maxey is going to start off with an easy dunk. Give me that. That's a yoink. That's a yoink. Lamelo down court. I know it beats there and I'm going to get fouled. Near hand one. And the foul is on Tyrese Maxey. I forget how fast Tyrese Maxey is. He's one of the fastest players in the NBA. And I was just barely able to go ahead of him on that play. And Embiid was, was there. If Maxey didn't foul, that was probably a block. Come on, inbound quick, inbound quick, inbound quick. They have him. MB was on the ground. You got to inbound quicker than that. Can I get by Maxi? I can. That's an easy rim. Rim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's an easy path to the rim. Jeremy Grant comes at the screen. I'm pulling up for the mid-range, and it's good. Cedric Lewis with a contested fading mid-range hits his first shot of the game. Take the screen, and please don't take the shot immediately. No, Terry. What? what who do you think you are, Terry? You ain't him. You are not that guy. 
You are not that guy. Cedric Lewis is that guy. Yuta, pick and fade. Let's see if you can get your swagger back here. Never mind. They're all over you. I'm going to cut back door, though. You need... Oh, my... I was open. What are we doing, Yuta? Yuta, you better hit this. You didn't. I was wide open. What, Yuta, what is it about you that can't see a backdoor cut? Like, what? He hit that, too. He actually hit that. Getting my first rest of the game. We are down by two at the start of this second quarter. Let's see where our bench last starting we can do. We're now up by two. I will definitely take it. Oh, that, that's nasty if that goes in. That's nasty if it goes. Cedric Lewis. Nasty getting his own. Oh, I didn't get the offensive rebound there. But what? Missed a shot in the paint. Should have made it. Gets the rebound by Nick Richards. Passes it out. Pump fake in the post fade. I need to stop leaving Tyrese Maxey open, though. I am getting very steel hungry. And that's a turnover on the Sixers. You got to be. How did, how, did he, how did he get that? How did he get that steal? This goes back to last episode when I mentioned how the AI, when that pass happens for the AI, they hold on to the ball. But when it's the user, it's always a fumble of the basketball. Every time, the ball finally gets something going. Like, how? Why is that a thing? And there's no way Tyrese Maxey gets that ball. It's already in my hands. There's no way. And this dude is so quick. I have like 97 speed and I still can't keep up with him. I know he's fast in real life, but dude, really? I have the same, if not higher speed than him. And I thought, okay, I don't know what's going on. Nope. No, he dunked on me. Wow. The fact that they scored on that is insane. We're going to have time down by one. I cannot guard this man. That was decent defense. What? I can't. That's the first trade I'm doing in the offseason. Getting rid of Jeremy Grant. First move that will happen in this offseason. Jeremy Grant will not be on this team. That is the biggest regret I have this season is trading for Jeremy Grant. That should go. And that's a big time three from Cedric Lewis. Bro, what is happening? How did they're gonna get away? They're gonna walk away with a three. They just walked away with a three on that whole possession. You are kidding me. You can't make this up. Uh, going up the court, I knocked the ball loose. You would think, oh, Yuta's right there. He'd be able to grab it. Nope. You said you get the stupid animation, it hits Yuta's leg. Yuta forgets what universe he's in. Reggie Bullock grabs it. Yuta knocks it loose. And still, no one knows what universe they're in. Reggie Bullock grabs it. Yuta knocks it loose again, and then just stops running. Then Reggie Bullock goes to grab it. He throws it towards me. You would think I'd be able to grab it there. No. Nope. The ball magically hits nothing. It hit nothing there, and then just goes towards Kelly Olynyk. And then I'm not able to wrestle it, and I, I, can't, I can't express. I can't explain what the hell just happened there. And I'm getting subbed out. Now is not the time to sub me out. Now has got to be the worst time to sub me out. We're down by one or four minutes left, and it's about to be down by two. Why would you sub me out there? Steve Clifford is selling this whole game. I don't know what this man is doing. What, Nick? You had a wide open lane to the basket, and you gave it up. Now I got to try and score. That should be a bucket and a half on Anthony Melton. Wow, the AI is stupid. All right, Nick Richards, I am going to cut to the paint. I am cutting to the paint. I expect you to pass it. That, I, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? Terry, oh my God, you're stupid. Oh my God, you're stupid. Oh my God, you're stupid. So instead of guarding his man and saying, I want to see the replay on that. I want to see where Terry was on the court. So Terry thinks, as I'm catching up to him, let me just play off my man, Anthony Melton, and have... Cedric, who's on the other side of the court guarding his man, guard him. And I can't get there in time. And he hits a three. 2K logic there. Why is Terry in the game over LaMelo right now? Are we going to ignore his idiot? You better hit that to redeem yourself. Thank you. Instead of backing down his guy. Oh my god, he just gave me that on a golden platter. That's a dunk. On a golden platter, Cedric extends it to three. I need you to play lockdown defense here. Come on, come on, come on. And out of bounds, Embiid, he hit that too, like, can, can we just express and explain how the hell he hit that shot there? Alright, we have a chance to push this to a two possession lead here. Two possession lead, we don't need a three, but I'll take one. I'll take one, Cedric, another one! 41 for Cedric Lewis, extends the lead to six, 
with back-to-back -back triples. A minute left in this game. Can the Sixers rally and bead and get to dunk? The lead is now four with no LaMelo ball in the game. Cedric Lewis is 41, and they have Tobias on DeAndre Ayton. They have Tobias. Ayton, that's easy buckets. That's an easy bucket. The Hornets up by six. No Harden in the game once again at the end, just like game one. Will it be the end for the Sixers? Oh, Embiid with a fantastic shot. All right, all right, give the ball to me. I don't want the ball in your hands, Terry. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. What was that? What was that? Oh, my God, this game. Bro, what was that? You're telling me Aiden couldn't put his hands up? He didn't even put his hands up. I'm, I'm double teaming. He got dunked on. He got dunked on. He got dunked on. He got dunked on. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball, Aiden. I'm too fast. 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 I'm not scoring, and they're going to foul. Cedric Lewis knocks down both free throws. Sixers, 27 seconds left. Ne I would, yeah, I'd say they need a three here because they're going to need to intentionally foul. They're going to inbound it too hard and don't want to waste too much time. They're not going to have a full shot clock now. Harden, Embiid in the paint, contested jumper is off. And that is going to do it. They're going to foul. And that is going to be a 2-0 series lead for the Hornets. Sixers are going to come down the court quick. Probably pull up. A quick three. Wow. Oh, my God. He hit that. Harden hit that to keep the Sixers alive. Aiton, give it to me. They're going to foul again. That's Tyrese's fifth. Okay. Let's try this again. Up by five. Harden, don't pull. Okay. They're giving it to Jay, Jay Rich this time. I thought he'd hit that. I thought he would hit that. That's my 10th rebound. And we are going to win game two. What a thriller in Charlotte. The Hornets are going to take a 2-0 series lead and remain undefeated in these playoffs final box score Cedric Lewis what a comeback game 47 points 10 rebounds 7 assists and 3 steals look like Jimmy Butler in game 6 15 to 25 from the field and hit 7 threes that has to be a playoff career high I don't think I've hit 7 threes in these playoffs Aiton continues his dominance a 23 point 13 rebound game only missing 3 shots Terry Rozier was very solid off the bench. Nick Richards still continues to ball out. No ball. Another stinker, man. Did get seven rebounds and eight assists, but three for 13, bro, is not it. Embiid, yeah, he came back to life. 33 points, 16 rebounds. Maxi, I still cannot guard him at all. Harden kind of had it. He had an all right game. But the Hornets are up two games to zero going to Philadelphia for the next two games. Can we complete the sweep? Find out next time. That's going to be for me. GG.